I just finished doing all my videos and I seen this and I said, you know what? I really have to post this because this is just ridiculous in 2017. Now you have this restaurant that I'm staring at right now. It's called Mammy's Cupboard and it's in Natchez, Mississippi. Now what you see is a Mammy that's real tall and underneath Mammy's dress is the restaurant. Now the Mammy itself was real dark, but over the years with time, Mammy has gotten lighter. Now I'm gonna play a quick video I just found and I want you to look at who's the clientele in Mammy's cupboard. Let's go ahead and roll that quick clip. Near Natchez, Mississippi, there's a structure in the shape of a Mammy, an outdated African-American caricature. Doris Kemp and her family run a restaurant here. The building's been here since 1940, designed for just what it does to attract the traveler to stop, look and buy and leave their money. It was built by Henry Godet in 1940 or 1941 for his wife. When my mother originally opened in the building, she was just going to be a gift shop and dessert, you know, sort of like a little tea house, and everyone would come in and say, well, why don't you serve something for lunch? And People came in and said, can you make me a sandwich? So I realized that if I wanted to stay here, they had to have food. And that's how it became a restaurant. It's what you would expect, you know, at your, your grandmother's kitchen, actually. You know, if you go to Mama's house, there's, you know, the good, delicious desserts and the homemade food. We eat here all the time. We love Doris to death. We think she's the sweetest person. It's become one of the most successful restaurants in this part of the country. It started off as a shell filling station. And they built it to uh, coincide with the pilgrimage that's here in Natchez. The pilgrimage is a popular springtime tour of old homes and plantations near here. We come here every time we come to the pilgrimage. And we've been here three days, and this is our third day to eat here. And she has fantastic desserts that you drive 100 miles for. With Mammy sitting on top, it's different. It's so incorrect uh, politically, but I guess back in the 30s and 40s you could do that. But it seems to be accepted now. There could still be some resentment, but, but we have not seen any. Because it's historic. Part of our history, and, and we're friends with everyone, so. If she had the same restaurant in a little, little flat building, she wouldn't get the business. It's part of Natchez, part of Mississippi, and part of the world now. So. Now you see the clientele isn't black people. Black people didn't build this. The clientele is all white folks in Mammy's Cupboard. Now I wanna go down and let you see some things about Mammy's Cupboard. And I want, also I need to understand, how is these black people in Natchez, Mississippi allowing this stuff to go on with a Mammy? I mean, and they blatant with all the uh, racism too. Now, as you can see that here, they talk about, look, look at this here, this is in front, right there. Look at that, Mammy's. These people have a sick, 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 nature who in the hell do things like this you don't see black folks creating restaurants with white characters to demean them you don't see hispanics doing this you don't see arabs doing this you don't see native americans doing this none of these people do that just them let me scroll down some more they talk about the little food they serve and i don't care about the food but look what they sell in the uh gift shop area Look, look at there, all that. This how sick a lot of these people are in the South. In them areas like Mississippi, Alabama, Arkansas, Georgia. I live in Texas, I know they got people that's, that's like that too, but they really deep in it in these areas. I mean, this, this just sick, it's sick. It's been sitting, this building been, they've been doing this mess since the 40s, whatever nasty food they fixing. And they showing all this and, and they, they celebrating it and, and it Southern living, give them stuff. All these people saying it's a, it's a monument and, and nobody's saying anything. It, it's just fine. It, it's amazing to me. Look, all the clientele, not a, not a black person in there. And that's the video I just showed y'all. But, but this is the thing here that tripped me out right there. When I saw this, you, you can buy magnets of mammies and look, look, it's like a black dude in the back. All of them extremely dark. Look, the white eyes. You see all that brothers and sisters and, 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 th and this is out in the front, boy, boy, boy. And then this, this is the thing you come into. So I just wanted to show you guys this, um, it is in Natchez, Mississippi. It's called Mammy's cupboard. Now people that live in Mississippi that's watching this channel, 
Why number one, why you didn't tell me about this sooner? Number two, why y'all ain't saying nothing about this? They know good and real this stuff shouldn't even be flying. In nineteen forty when they made it, I know you didn't couldn't say much back then, but now you have an ability to say something. But I've met some people from that area in Mississippi, and too many of y'all over there is go along to get along. Way too much of that. And, that, and that's what's killing black people. They go along to get along, and you let these people outright disrespect you with a dog on mammy sitting up here. A mammy. Y'all pass by this stuff all the time. Y'all pass by looking at this, and then they selling stuff like this. Please, in the comments, let, let me know, am I just crazy to, to say something's wrong with this? I know I'm not. But, th but once again, ladies and gentlemen, this is America. This is the sickness that they do. And I just like to show you this sort of thing that's going on. I could not go to bed without letting you guys know this because I was like, I just, this just, this just too much. This is way too much. Mammy's cupboard. This is disrespecting black women and what they went through. Cause a mammy was basically a house slave. A mammy was a, a house slave that took care of the white folks children. Why, why that why that black woman couldn't uh, breastfeed her own ch children, she was breastfeeding white children. That's what a mammy type was doing. And they got pictures of, of mammy types breastfeeding white children. The women were so lazy they couldn't even breastfeed their own. But uh, I'm just I'm just kind of floored by it, how, how none of y'all said nothing about this stuff in 2017. That, that's amazing to me. That is so amazing. But guys, you know, leave, leave me a comment. Let, let me know what you think about this. Share this with everybody. Let everybody know what this stuff going on. You know, make your own videos about it. You know, let's spread this out and figure out what's going on with this. Um, you know, like the commentary, you know, subscribe and also join us on our you know Patreon to help us keep putting out the information.